This is a celebration of life for Wesley and Wiana. And we begin this celebration in spirit of their young lives. The first introductory prayer will be a directional prayer led by Sandra along with Wesley and Wiana's cousins. Life-giving spirit, I face the west, black, the direction of sundown, let me remember every day that the moment will come when the sun will go down. Some people are like flowers. They blossom from seemingly nowhere and radiate beauty. Wiana was like this for all who knew her. She blossomed like a wild heather upon this mundane plane of life, and those who saw her smile were blessed to have stood for just a moment within her light. She was a free spirit who loved freely and fiercely and adapted easily though she never forgot or was truly apart from those distance separated her from. Just as now, she isn't truly gone. Wiana always looked at things from a slightly different perspective. From even her earliest moments, on her first day of kindergarten, when the class was asked what they were most looking forward to learning, Wiana answered, I want to cut with scissors. The one person who always seemed to have the words was Wiana herself. She survives in the words she has crafted and in the pages she breathed life into. Wes, optimist, artistic, independent, carefree. Brother of Liz, step bro of beast. Lover of music, movies, life. Who feels laughter, excitement, and energy. Who needs a lens, a manager, and money who gives empathy, support, and understanding, who fears vegetarians, <laughs> Nazis, and circus circus, who would like to see a smarter planet, less dependence on others, a better government. 